What's up everybody? Welcome back to Bassin Southwest. We've got something special for you today. We're at the ISE show here in Phoenix, Arizona, and we're hanging out with the Nitro booth. And we're gonna walk you through the boat I'm most familiar with, which is the Z18. I've had one for about a year now. I love my boat. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through this one, and I'm gonna tell you some things that I would change uh, just to make my experience a little bit better. So here we go, starting at the back, we have uh, the Mercury Pro XS 150. This is an amazing motor. Mercury, that's all they do, they make outboards. They don't make four wheelers, they don't make anything else. This is what they do, it's what they know. Um, you can't go wrong here. Uh, this one also comes with a six inch slide master jack plate so that you'll be able to get even more performance out of this beast of an engine. And you'll probably push this boat in the mid to high 50s, possibly over 60, depending on how you how you load it so back in the back also we have a safety ladder if you guys watched one of my last videos at roosevelt i almost threw myself in with my new trolling motor um, the water was cold it was cold i would have been really hurting to try to get back in the boat and that ladder would have saved my bacon so we're going to crawl up in it now and give you some more specs Ugh. all right back bend first off there's a ton of room back here to do work you got two battery trays here one over there um, your charger is in this way, three bank charger. So all you have to do is get home and plug it in to your outlet or charges all your batteries at once and keeps them charged and maintained. Um, a ton of room back here. If you want to add power poles, you've got pump uh, room for the pumps and all that. And actually to get to the, your bilge and everything under there is really simple as well. You just take this plate off and you can replace pumps. When they move the gas stations from, or gas stations, the gas tanks from back here to under the seat, it really freed up a lot of space. Next, and one of the most important things for us tournament guys is our live well. This is a giant live well, 30 plus gallons, I believe, um, and it will pump out, it will recirc, and it does the automatic fill. It's also divided with a removable divider, um, it, but all ran off the one system this is not a two pump system so if you're going to fill it up you're filling it up um, i've never killed a fish in a nitro live well yet and i've had a few of them so that's a good thing removable bins in the back these things are great if you have a buddy that has a nitro you can just throw all your stuff in one of these bins take it out of your boat he can take his out and there you are you've got your stuff already loaded up this model here comes with the removable dual console, which is handy. If you're out with the missus and she wants the protection from the wind, she's got it. But on tournament day, it can come out and give you all the room you need. Here at the helm, all your normal switches, power, navigation, dimmer, and ignition, all your live oil controls, and your horn. You've got every gauge you need here. Water pressure, when you're trying to tweak for, for, for performance, you don't want to lose water pressure. You got that here. You got a trim gauge. When you do find that sweet spot, you know where it's at on the gauge. RPMs, so you're not going a little too wonky on those. Speedometer, this one comes with an auto bilge and you got a voltmeter. Standard, these boats come with a hook five in the dash and nothing in the front. Uh, this one boat also is equipped with a hot foot um, and the automatic uh, drain valve here for the live well, which would be really handy. Wish I would have gotten that. Moving forward cup holders and tool holders here right where you need them because you're going to sit here to retie and do all that the removable trash can which is way nice uh, when you fill it up you can hand it out and get it dumped and a giant giant ice cooler uh, you can fit a whole package of waters in there at any given time so moving to the center box here 
tons of room i've got about 13 planos and then a bunch of totes with plastics in on top of them so it's super deep as well i did take out these black dividers to make some room for myself to be able to fit more in there on the sides identical rod lockers only this one has a rod storage system in it um, i actually prefer to go without them and just use rod slicks and that allows me to fit a lot more rods in there if i actually wanted to uh, and then this side it gets life jackets and paddles and your fire extinguishers in there things like that <coughs> moving to the front this boat's equipped with a 80 pound thrust Minn Kota Fortrex 24 volt trolling motor kind of the gold standard amongst trolling motors before we started spot locking and getting digital um, this thing was a real beast a real workhorse and again room to flush mount a 12 inch graph and light control and um, trim controls up at the front with a little non-skid step pad for loading and getting on and off the dock. This one comes Galvashield protected uh, nitro trailer, single axle. Okay. okay. All right. So there's the boat. Now this boat stickers at thirty-nine thousand and some change. The way that it sits right now. Some things that I would change about it. First off would be the trolling motor. I would get me a trolling motor that is capable of spot locking, cruise controlling, all that. I don't care which one. You already know how I feel about the Ultrex um, and why I switched back to a motor guide, but some sort of trolling motor that can take you to a waypoint, that can do all those really cool things. Um, you may think you don't need it, and you don't, but it is sure handy, I'll tell you that much. Um, I would add a graph here, the biggest, best one that I could afford. You don't need side imaging up front um, so much. You can get away with just down imaging and traditional because you can't have your side image transducer on there going back and forth like this and, and get you a good image. So, but again, big though, a big screen so you can see what you're doing a lot better. So that's what I would change up here. Uh, moving back, again, I already told you about taking the dividers out in the center and taking the rod rack out there and just using sleeves. That's what I would do. Um, looking under here also, I would not do the hot foot. Um, and I'm sponsored by TH Marine and they probably would hate for me to say that. I, I just don't like them. I don't like the hot foot. I like to be able to control here. I feel like I have much more control when I can feather it with my fingertips um, in rough water and steer with the other hand, me personally. Again, at the dash, I would do as big a graph as I humanly possibly could uh, just to make it easier to see things and, and find fish. And then at the back, I would definitely go with the Atlas hydraulic jack plate in the back if I could do it all over again. I spend a lot of time trying to tune props and moving that manual jack plate up and down. Sucks. So I would definitely go hydraulic there and spend the money. Um, and it's good for rough water and shallow water. You can really tweak your boat to perform the best that it can on any given day. And then I would upgrade this Mercury to a 175 Pro XS uh, just to get that few extra miles an hour and just better performance all around. You got 25 more horsepower to help you get on plane and do all that stuff. All right guys, another thing that I would change on this boat, uh, just from recent experience, a single axle trailer is nice, um, easy to maintain, but I did bust a leaf spring and it left me stranded with a thousand dollar tow bill. Um, and that can happen to anybody. So do yourselves a favor and get yourself a tandem axle trailer. I could have at least uh, tied up my my one axle that was busted um, and limped it into money. So definitely upgrade your trailer to the tandem axle. Um, those are some of the things I would change. They can definitely do the graph stuff for you here. They can change out your trolling motor. Um, so if you like this boat and you want to add some features to it, come in, come see Charlie and her team and they'll get you all lined out uh, so that you can go home with an amazing, amazing, uh, great looking nitro.